हाई गाइज वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल रोबो अंडर स्कोर सी के बाई दीक्षित सो टू डे टॉपिक इज अवर वॉट आर द इनपुट आउटपुट्स इन द फोन ओकोबो हाउ मैनी टाइप्स ऑफ इनपुट आउटपुट्स इन फोन ओकोबो सो लेट्स वी स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी गो टू मेन्यू एंड हेयर इज फिफ्थ नंबर इज द इनपुट आउटपुट आई ओ दैट मीन्स द इनपुट आउटपुट एज यू कैन सी देर इज द फर्स्ट वन इज द सेल इंटरफेस सेकेंड वन वेल्ड इंटरफेस स्पॉट इक्विपमेंट कस्टम डिजिटल एन अलाउ ग्रुप रोबो यू ओ पी एस ओ पी इंटरकनेक्ट लिंक डिवाइस फ्लैग डिवाइस नेट पी सी एम डिस्प्ले सो हेयर आर इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इनपुट आउटपुट्स that time it's uh, one is digital input output second one is analog third one we can you can say the group input outputs eighth one is the robot input output ninth one is the uop user interfacing input outputs and uh, one more is there asop system input outputs so generally we are having only uh, six type of input outputs in robot digital analog group robo user interface and sop and uh, these are the uh, first one as you can see this is a cell interface if we are going to build one uh, cell robotic cell so that time uh, many types of input outputs required if you are using the spot welding that time you have to interlink the water uh, anything door plug so what are the cell input outputs so you can see there so we are start from one this is the input simulated first one uh, here having the input output there is the configuration you can configure that particular input or output directly to do so first one is the input simulated so whenever we are going to simulate there is one option it's a simulate Simulate means uh, you are going to be make forcefully on any input or output. That time, one DO which we define there going to be directly on output simulated. Same if uh, output is simulated override. If our speed is going to be hundred, that time also it's able to make one DO configure. It's going to be on in cycle. If robot uh, is running, that time it's also. program about program fault process process complete weld enable if uh, generally we are using now uh, spot welding so if we are going to be making weld on or off that time it's going to be on at the time you can see it's either uh, on so stock enable if we are uh, stock uh, in spot welding application it's uh, used stock when gun having stock uh, open stock and close stock that time it's also probe tip recalibration at perch probe one one spot welding heart beat so this type of uh, cell interface outputs you can be used similarly there is inputs weld on off if we are going to be make weld on that time you have to uh, make it on weld off time may you have to make 98 off stock on off with respect to severity error and so on. so these are the cell interface now we are going with the weld interface as this is the spot welding robot so here only the option for spot welding uh, items this is the weld schedule whatever the program number uh, group number we are sharing with the weld timer or sharing with the plc we have to define there uh, so we are uh, using here group 1 this is a group output 1 this is the weld id which weld id you are using one number parity if there is some parity huge these are the weld enter initiate and weld enable weld enable on off cap tip change tip stop and same in the way input weld in process weld complete after going to be welding complete one output is uh, one input is receiving from the welder or plc weld on off 
also controlled by outer side by PLC. Major alarm, if there is any alarm, cap tip, required tip, change required tip dress, these inputs we are able to use in weld interface. So again, is uh, third one is the spot equipment. Where, uh, whatever the input outputs we are uh, used for spot welding. One is water flow. Second is gun pressure. So water saver on off, uh, gun pressure achieve or not achieve, that time this DO going to be on. And same the DI, water save ok. If the water flow is ok, water flow ok, X transformer is ok. So these inputs we are receiving from the field. So fourth one we can go to fourth custom, which uh, you can uh, use or you can define by your way. So we are not uh, required this to define more signals. So fifth one is the digital. Generally uh, today in our practice we are using the digital input outputs for interfacing with PLC, interfacing with other field devices. We are using the digital input outputs. So as you saw the DO uh, digital output it's a 43 number 45 number 46 these are the input output numbers it's a start from one and going to be thousand and here is the option you can make it manually on off uh, during the input output testing with configuration we are checking it's uh, going to be on or off with field device you can check here and uh, here you can make it simulate as uh, i told you in silent interface, simulate and simulate. When you are going to be simulate, that time one output going to be there on. So there is the input output. This is the input in the same way. These are the inputs. You can also make them simulate forcefully. If uh, not able to receive from field, you are able to choose from there on off. So never use during your auto try because it's uh, causes accident. So use the product and uh, configuration part we show you later and explain later next video first uh, today I just uh, we uh, try to see the types of input outputs six one is the analog if uh, we are having any device which are communicating by or uh, receiving or sending the analog signal as you know 0 to 24 volt 4 to 20 milliampere currents so some devices transmitter or any other flow controller are uh, communicating by uh, giving or receiving uh, 0 to 24 volt 4 to 20 milliampere current so that time we are using these analog signals generally we are don't have uh, this type of uh, application so these are the analog signals seventh one is the group as you see the previous we when we are uh, watching the weld uh, cell interface that time there is one go one group output one so group output we have to generally have to define from which number to which number we are going to be make a group so as you can see there uh, there is one configuration here this is the rack number generally we are using for uh, this is the slot number this is the start bit and this is the number of bits how many numbers how many bits you are using it's using the eight bits and it's going to be start from 97 number so 97 98 99 100 100 100 4 including this group so these are the group input outputs in the similar way you can see the gi group input it's uh, starting from 65 and number of bits is having the four numbers 65 66 67 and 68 it's the four bit one group you can say in aj uh, you see the byte bit world in the same way we are using this group now we have to go to eight number eight number you can see the robot these are called the ro ri there are ro eight number robot output and uh, here ri these are also in counting eight so generally these are the uh, input outputs which are provided by the phone uh, fun maker company uh, for using uh, end effect uh, end effect uh, generally we are using a gripper or anything else which uh, we have to mount on tool these are uh, the robot input outputs 
so by these eight input or eight output signals you can also make the program for uh, small application for gripper handling no requirement of the plc to controlling any field equipment but it limits only eight inputs and eight outputs you can use in program so these are always available with robot so next uh, ninth one we can go this is the uop as you if you read the manual you can see the name these are called the user interfacing signals so what are the user interfacing signals and for what purpose they are using we'll explain in further video just it's a little explanation uh, when we are going to be start our robot in auto so to make communicate for auto trial it's uh, having some uh, standard signals uh, which are called the uop signals this uh, these are 18 number of input and 20 number of outputs which are the standard so by using these signals if we are getting from outside device our robot will run in auto mode and also with respect to its condition its reply to the field device so you can see here if i enter the uop these are the user outputs command enable system ready program pause motion hold fault if there is some fault that time it's going to be on if there is no fault that time it's going to be off as you can see here i make it reset that time fault is off and the system is ready now there is no fault so in the same way it's replying to the field device at perch robot is at perch means the home tp enable this is the enable key you can see if i make it auto mode it's going to be off and when i make it on it's going to be on this is the battery alarm if there is battery low that time the is shown bg when robot is running these are the pns program selection command eight number snack bit reject bit so we are having the 20 outputs user outputs in the same process we are having the 18 inputs which we are getting from the field first one is the imstp input uh, which we can say is the emergency second one is the hold safe speed cycle stop fault reset start from outer side home position enable and these are the program numbers in which they provide pns program start so these are the user input outputs we will uh, explain them later in upcoming video so these are the uop signals now this one one more is the sop it's called the system input output whatever the system having the fault having the keys uh, because this is the system this is the system emergency and also we are having one uh, uh, system provided by phone you can see their emergency there is one t1 t2 and auto selection is there you can see so these are uh, input outputs coming with the system so you are able to hear uh, watch system and purpose Roma, remote LED is on fault LED is on TP in enable condition emergency these are the system outputs and these are the system inputs which we are getting hold remote cycle start whatever these are system inputs these are you can see we are having 15 number of inputs and uh, having 50 number of outputs in system input outputs so this one is the interconnect interconnect generally we are having some applications that we have to interconnect one signal to another so that time we can use it we press here and here is the one select option you can connect robot input to do di to robot output di to do system input to do and emergency to do so these are the interconnection if you require for future programming you can uh, able to use there is not an issue so link devices what are flags if you are uh, need to use the flags in during your programming this is device net it's a robot communicating with device net so having the device net device net rack number is 81 and its status online and you can see the detail mac id 1 baud rate 125 this is used for the communication device net communication here are the configuration so now we now we 
have the PMC. This is one PMC internal PLC uh, ladder logic development option is there. So generally we are not using somewhere it's used. But generally for auto uh, making simple automation self, it's not required. So you are able to use the PMC. So these are all the types of input outputs we have finished in our this video. So thanks for watching. If you like, then subscribe my channel and like. Thank you.